Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroBMX here, and welcome back to Emotional Support Pickles. <laughs> I mean, Dragon Quest VIII. <laughs> What's the difference? Home of the Sinister Rat. And the Sinister Cat. <laughs> oh my god. I thought the Sinister Rat shit was hilarious, because it was all like, you know, Sinister Rat says, you know, shove your dick up your own ass. You know, it was like really, really vulgar, you know? But it was more the reactions that made it really funny. The way that people got really fucking crazy about it. Ah, here we go. Harry! Down here! The dog's almost taller than she is. Denied. Yeah, because Garret. They cannot hurt us in here. Evil cannot penetrate the barrier. I knew I recognized you. You are the ones who were caught in the avalanche, no? You seem to have more than your share of bad luck, turning up here at a time like this. Still, we must look on the bright side. Perhaps it is a good thing that you found your way into the ruin. I was downstairs enthusing herbs when I heard Boris barking up above. Boris. Then I went to see what was bothering him. I found a very... a group of wolves surrounding the house. I ran in here to get away from them. I only saw them briefly, but I am sure they were not normal wolves. I could see some kind of evil about them. I'm gonna talk to the dog. Av, av, av. Fantastic. What is that? I wonder, did you meet with Merrick to piss on the bag I gave you? I sure did. I cannot believe it. He's coming here because he is worried about me? I always thought I was the only one with all my worries about him. My Merrick. What was that noise? It was noise. I think your shit's on fire. Feeling about this, something is terribly wrong. It's very wrong. Let's go check it out. Surprise! I come out to find the one who taunts me is a dog. Speaking of dogs, Boris looks like he's stoned as fuck and has no idea what's going on. Yeah. But you are not just a dog. I can smell it. I can smell the evil that tells me who you really are. Only if you know who I am, you must know what I want. Come quietly, and I promise a quick and painless demise. Ha! Release him first, then we will talk. You are in no position. 
position to make demands. Be quiet and come to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You reason like the monstrous beast you are. Very well. I will go to you. The ultimate key. Oh, man. Now we can open anything. Farewell, my friends. Remember, together it is possible to break even an elm. Together, you can overcome even the strongest evil. You choose wisely. In you, the blood of the sages has found a true heir. Such a pity that I must spill it. But there is nothing to fear. Your son will be following you before long. So that was your plan. But the scythe has hit the stone. You are wrong if you think an old babushka like me has no fire left in her. Ah, my eyes! My eyes! Well, you like my nook powder? I think nook might be capsicum. Go, Boris! Hurry! Okay. I don't think Boris has ever hurried in his life. Another one. I think there's two left. That meddlesome old hag. Trying to cheat me of my destiny. Ah, my eyes, my eyes. But now, A one. only one seal remains. Just one. When the last air's blood is spilt, my spirit will finally be free of this scepter. Stop where you are. You aren't getting away this time. I think he's getting away. And another fight with hellhounds. Alright. Let's actually use some magic. Actually, you know what? I will have a, a, a Jessica do magic as well. Um, I think a sizzle in this case. Zibbity's out. My Angelo will most likely take all or most of them out. Yep, that's a win. Oh man, we got our asses kicked again. Leopold is out. Mama? Mama? 
Mama! Mama! No! If only I had not let that dog capture me! I thought I could finally make things up to you! This is all my fault! Nah, I would blame Rathorn more. <laughs> really his fault. He's the uh, axe murderer here. Yep. Not the scepter murderer. Doesn't sound as good. Pepper Slayer. That evil dog flew off to the east, yes? Uh, east. Hmm. I think the Lord High Priest's island is to the east. Oh, yo, yo. You say you have been chasing this dog. You must not give up. We cannot allow another life to be sacrificed like my mother. Especially since there's only one you life. You must find him and defeat him. Believe me, his list of crimes needed no addition to persuade us of that. But what are we supposed to do now? They finally catch up with the fiend, and he flies off. How can we possibly hope to follow? That is it! Empiria! If the enemy can fly, then you need to fly too! You must enlist the help of the god bird, Empiria! You know, with the thought that Imperia is also Rapthorn's ancient enemy, it makes me wonder if Rapthorn is another iteration of Kalasmos. Maybe. Because Zulma definitely was, right? Shrine, yeah. Inside this ruin. It is written on them how she fights against evil. If anyone can help you in this battle, I am certain that Imperia can. Okay, well... We have a lot to do before we worry about Imperia. Oh, that's the runes. So the first thing we gotta do is a pretty lengthy treasure hunt to get a lot of things that were locked behind ultimate key doors. So let's start there by going to pick them. Oh, not the monster arena. Damn it. Not what I wanted. Bad. That's all right. At least this isn't one of those Dragon Quest games where Zoom costs eight magic points. Yeah, that was wet. It only costs one. And in later games, like, I think in 11, it's a free spell, so... Yeah, that is. If I were... I'll just do it. Yeah, it's gone on. Alright, one of the houses in the back had a... Ultimate key lock door. It's, I think it's gonna be one of these. Not this one. Come on. No, that ain't it either. I know it's in the back. I don't know exactly where it is. Let's see. Well, that's the church. It's the inn and the pub. And that's an item shop, so maybe it's this one. Nope. Hmm, maybe over here? Oh, this is this has gotta be it. I think right here. Yeah we go. Hello. Oh, the wrong side, Mr. Stupid. So we got a power shield. Eh, 
and a rune staff. And it's a mimic. Okay. Shoot. Actually, I might want to just do uh, this. There we go. And... A mini medal! Hmm. Alright, the next one... Well, the next few are at Red's house. So we'll head there. It's a bit of a walk. There's no warp at Red's house. We could warp to Swordsman's Labyrinth to try and get there, but... uh. kind of equidistant, so... Oh, God, where's the exit? Here it is, I think. There we go. And we do want to walk because of... Um... Oh, that guy's not... Blo oh, nope, he is there. Because of all the alchemy we got going. Speaking of which, let me check on that. Alright, it looks like it's... It's getting there. It's not quite ready to pop, but it's getting there. It was free starting at 9. What's that? It was free starting at 9. Zoom. Wait, I, I, I can't... Eat. What starts at 9? At 9. That's when free, it became free. Zoom. Oh, okay. Free Zoom Dragon Quest Nine. Okay. I haven't played Dragon Quest Nine pretty much since it first came out on the DS. I played through it, and I really liked it, but, you know, I, I never get the chance to go back to it. Yeah. It'd be nice to get... I mean, you know, Eight got a port on the 3DS, which kind of made me want to play it again, and I did, but, you know, Nine never got any kind of remake or port or anything. It really needs one. Yep. Oh, we can speed this up. I just remembered. We're not in the, uh... We're not in the, uh, whatchamacallit? The snowy area anymore. Hoods! Alright, couple of hoods they are. Oh, my nipples. Dumbass. Maybe after the three remake comes out, we'll do it. Maybe, right? I think they'll definitely remake 1 and 2 in that same style, but I would love to see 9 envisioned in any sort of style. Like, like just to play it again would be great. Yeah. And with the online features back on back live. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it shouldn't be necessary, obviously, but it should be available. A hipster yeah. and a witch. But enough about people from Portland. <laughs> Come on, that was funny. Oh, Oregon, of course. Yeah. But it could be also in Maine as well. Nah. I don't think they have hipsters there. They're about 30 years behind on everything. They're gonna get hipsters soon. Or maybe the hipsters will go there, because they're 30 years behind. Indeed. Here we are. Open says me. A seed of agility. A garter. A mini metal. And a spiked steel whip. Which I believe that that's not going to be anywhere near as good as the whip that Jessica has, the Gringham whip. I'll check, but there's like no way, you know? Yeah, it's a big difference. <laughs> Alright, next stop Trodane Castle.
point out they have terabyte SD card, micro SD cards. Who does? They're selling uh, terabyte micro SD cards. Yeah, but who? Who? Who is selling? I, I saw it on news. Ah. It's by Sanders. That's one hell of an SD card. Alright. And there's more than one uh, door to open in here. It says there's a bunch of treasures in the second floor of the building on the right. So... Oh, Jesus Christ, Gunny. That would be over here. Garuda! Good night. I'm pretty sure I would have had this door unlocked at this point. Yeah. Oh, of course that happened when I'm in a dungeon. Oh, it's actually going to let me do it? Okay, cool. And we've got ourselves a staff of anti-magic. Alright. Alright, so the next thing we're going to pop in is going to be, uh, let's see, we need an iron shield. Which, uh, I see leather, I see iron shield. Gotta have one somewhere. That's bronze. There it is. And I need a silver platter, which is another shield. A silver platter. That wasn't it, right? That's a magic shield. Um, hmm. There we go. Iron shield plus silver platter. Gee, I wonder if the result is going to be a shield. <laughs> Maybe. A no blue end. Hmm. Yeah, this is the first floor. All right. Oh, we got a dragon thorn, a whaling weed, and two cure slimes. None of these enemies are going to be any kind of threat, really. Hi, Gipsy. Oh, well, it's right there. I'm sure Trode won't mind. You'd think he would have the key to this place. No, he lost it while mm. trying to escape. I know, right? We've got a seed of magic. That gives you gotta lay down or get out of here. One or the other, okay? Yggdras will do. Very good. A rusty old sword. Not a great weapon, but can be used in alchemy. Rusty old sword. Old green dust. Ha ha ha! Dusty old bones, full of green dust. Dusty old bones. <laughs> Hank, you've got a bully. A weird bully. All right. Um. Oh, that's actually it here. Okay. I thought there was more for some reason. I don't know why they have so much. I liked it. Yeah, I. I think that they felt like that. Bobby was out of character at the end, but that was the whole point. Yeah. But Hank asked him to do that. You know, to prove a point, really. Yeah. And he was even like, "Are you sure about this, Dad?" And like, I was very interested. Most of the episodes of King of the Hill that people regard as the worst, I don't mind so much. Like the the one with the pig guy and the, the Montana I episode, and I love the pig guy. Yeah. That was yeah. Great. The Montana episode is another example with Peggy's mom. Yeah, it's out of continuity, really, but it was a good episode. Um, what was Probably that? The one died. It was another one that's wild. Oh, the one with the Canadians. I didn't mind that. Uh, this is kind of going the long way, but whatever. And the one with that old lady that died in their house. That one was a little weird. It was weird, but it was. Oh, that's... I like the part with. I like the part with she and Dale. <laughs> yeah, when he was trying to convince her to die in his house instead. Yeah.
Yeah, that was a bizarre one. I mean, it was funny. It wasn't a bad episode, but I'd probably say that it was one of my less liked yeah, ones. It's, it's a weaker episode, but that, was, that part makes it worth watching. Oh, that's the exit. Okay. All right. Next stop, Argonia. I'm not going to hit my head, right? Okay. There we are. All right. So there's a treasury on the third floor of the castle that we can get into now. Wow, a tin turbine drive for 220. Damn. That's... Really, I mean, it's amazing how much space you can get for uh, so little. What kind of drive is that? Internal. It's a hard drive or it's a solid state? Uh, hard drive. Yeah, I figured. The solid states are they are getting bigger, but they're not that big yet. Yeah. And now that's affordable. Like, not this computer, but the one before it. The people on the phone at, at Alienware were trying to convince me to get a solid state drive. But the issue was that they were offering one that was like half a gig. Yes. And I'm like, I think I need a little more than half a gig of space. They didn't understand that, you know? Yeah. Now I have an internal hard drive and a solid state drive, you know? And that that's the way to do it, you know? Uh, it says from outside, though, so I have to find the door that goes outside, which I'm pretty sure... If we go this way, and then no, 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 that's not it. It's it's this way. Yeah, the largest SSD is like seven gigs, and it's like over two thousand dollars. I mean, that's a lot for a solid state drive, considering what they do, and you know, it, it's just amazing. Solid state drives are, are you know, June says they're wizardry. Yeah, and not the games. And I can't say that they're not pretty fucking amazing. I think I think it's well I thought this was I thought this was the prince's room. I'll say. This is the prince's room. And there he is. Oh, it's you wait. You look well. Not like me. I'm bored out of my mind. Father's been acting a bit off lately as well. Whenever he looks at me he always seems to be scowling. It's really quite unsettling and I have it the foggiest what's wrong with him. He's an impossible and a weed, my father. I think I, there's a way to get to this treasury. I just... Well, maybe through here? This might be it. Or it could be that staircase that was out there, actually. It just says access from... <laughs> oh, goddamn. Outside the third floor. Oh. That might be that staircase. Yeah, my SSD is half a terabyte. Um, hold on, I'll tell you how much mine is. My SSD is half a terabyte. It's, terabyte five, it's five, 500 gigs. And my hard drive, I have, I have the, the internal hard drive that's four terabytes and the external that's uh, also four. Although I really only yeah. use the external for long-term storage, you know, backup. Yeah, that's how I do. Though my external is a bit, it's a bit smaller. It's two, my external. Yeah. Ah, here we are. I was right. Eventually, I was right. Alright, we got a skull ring. Got a moon axe. I'll have to see if that's better than the axe that. Yankus is wearing because he has the uh what shit is it? He has a king axe. Attack 60? That's really not that good. Alright, we'll just hang on to it. And a mini metal! Hmm. Now it says the next two are in Le Puff Puff Club? I thought you needed the bird to access Le Puff Puff Club. I haven't been there. But it says to get a mini metal and a silver platter there. Let me look into my map here. I thought the Puff Puff Club was someplace you can only get to 
via bird. Oh, that's not the right browser. And I gotta end the video too, but first let me... Well, you know what? I'll end the video and I'll look into that. So I'll see you guys real soon with more Dragon Quest VIII.